on, tapes are up, and Vashlik's nice made a super in. start on the inside. Lingua now having to go wide. Dudek up the inside. Here comes Bewley trying to square it off. He's into third. Is he into second? He's going to follow Vashlik through. Is he? Yes, he is. Um, Lingua now trying to respond. How did he do that? Gets himself back into second place. But what a start from Vashlik. Yeah, great start from Vashlik. He actually helped Freddie, Freddie Lindgren. He just <laughs> kept the wheels in line right down by the curve. Found that grip that Freddie Lindgren has been using all night. And uh, Bewley's coming back now. He's going to work the outside. It's going to be hard round there. He's got a couple Beauty. of quick riders in front of him. Oh, Freddie Lindgren ripped that. Oh! 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 oh, that was a hard crash. Lindgren's gone down hard. Face planted into the yeah, track, Yeah, awkward looking crash, but uh, I think it was the fact that Martin Vashlik had gone in so wide. He's, uh, he's definitely come across. Martin Vashlik's definitely trying to cover the line, uh, but a very uncomfortable crash for Freddie Lindgren. Ooh, Freddie yeah, is out of, the, uh, out of the final. That's uh, very disappointing for him, um, but I think... Uh, Concern at the moment. We're showing the replay, so I'd, I'd like to think he's okay. Yeah, he's gone down hard on his head and his neck and his shoulder. Yeah, um, I do hope that we didn't show those replays too soon because, but yeah. uh, I do believe he's uh, on his feet, which yeah. is great news because yeah. that was a, an awful looking crash. Tense times, everything to race for here in Vlopsland in the Olympic Stadium. Away they go. Lambert's got there, Rasmus Jensen battling with Jack Holder. Jack oh. Holder off, oh, nasty. Yeah, awkward crash. Got off very difficult there. For Jack Holder. Nothing giving there in the first corner between him and Jensen. We'll see it once more. Yeah, he comes off gate three here. He's got the bike working. He's trying to get across there. And uh, just overlocks the bike. Oh, it's, it's, I think it will be all four. I've got to be honest. I think Jensen it will, will be all up four. Here a bit. He does straighten up a bit here. Yeah, he does. Um, and it's obviously, he does clatter into to Jack Holder. Jack's made a decent start. Tried to come across. He's put himself in that position. Ooh. Oh, really awkward looking crash. I've got a feeling how the referee has been so far in this tournament. He may, because there was contact, he may put all four back in. Um, because there you can see. Jack's trying to come across, and yeah, we're hearing it's all four, and I think that's probably the correct decision, but uh, really, really awkward crash there for Jack Holder. Ooh, almost gets tangled up in the bike, too. Let's hope he's OK. Yeah, it goes down hard. Down the way again. Tapes are up. Away we go into the first corner and it's Freddie Lingman but rounding outside Dan Bewley running for the dirt is he going to make it work it's tight into turn three Bewley just gets there slams the door shut once again Lingman hugging the inside nearly getting back to the front Doyle's back in third place with hooking oh nasty crash yeah difficult one there see it again Chris yeah Dan Bewley's out front Freddie Lingman there yeah it's just just I mean Jason was oh yeah Freddie goes down hard too but uh just a misjudgment. I don't. I think actually the speed that Jason caught Freddie up maybe caught him out a little bit. Freddie's turned the bike quite hard there, but uh, yeah, it was a misjudgment uh, from Jason, and he gets yeah he gets Ooh, collected the there by the bike as well. Nasty one. And uh, we have now a decision from the referee, and Jason Doyle is excluded from the rerun of heat number five. As I say, he seems that he was quite a long way behind him, and there he just catches him up yeah, rapidly. Very quickly. It's almost like he was getting a lot of drive on the bike. And Freddie, as you say, does the bike collect him? Oh, he's tied up with two bikes. Tapes up. We're underway. Wolfenden's made a smashing start. Bartos smiles on the ground the outside. Will it work a treat for him? No, it hasn't quite got there. Yeah, he's in a second. Here he comes. Round the outside of Wolfenden. It's gone very wide indeed. Bewley's on the inside. Oh, my goodness! Oh, I thought for a moment he was going to fire himself up the inside to the front. Wolfenden read it beautifully. Slammed the door shut. Smarslick hunting down Wolfenden, who's holding the inside. Here we go. This is going to be some race out in front. Yeah, I tell you, Smarslick's really working it. Oh, no, that's a big mistake. Oh, too oh. much grip from Wolfenden. He's off the bike. Strange place to get that much grip. I think oh, I just as the bike lifted, there. he's hit something. Yeah, yeah in there's the a rut there. 
we're having a cracking race and then this happens. Yeah, he's, uh, he knows he's under pressure here. Smarslik's run up the inside of him and he knows he's got a race on his hands. Oh. Yeah, the bike actually almost turns completely sort of round while it's up in the air. We can see here, it does turn it quite hard and then, oh, wow. And he's not off of it. No, he's no. part of it. Look, the tyre's just dug in there. He actually does really well to get off. That could have been far worse than it actually was. But really, really, oh, he goes down hard on his shoulder. Here we go. Heat number two. Here we go. Tapes are up. Away they go. Once again, gate number four working well. Around the outside comes Janowski. Doyle trying to hang on to it, but Janowski's made it work. Powering down the back straight for the first time. Around the outside, Leon Madsen going very wide indeed. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Jason Doyle all out of shape there. Thompson nearly running into the back of him. Oh, he's yes. off. Oh. oh, that's not a nice crash. Oh, that's a horrifying crash. A-OK, -okay, which is remarkable, absolutely remarkable. Talk that's us through it again. Yeah, that's where it starts. Jason loses his momentum, bike goes up in the air, realises he's got to get it back across into the corner. Anders is running very narrow, no fault of either rider there. Bike accelerates My out to the goodness. fence because his weight's gone back and he's still on the, on the throttle. It's a really awkward moment as a rider. There's nothing you can do about it. You become a complete passenger. You can see there, backed it in, collects him, nearly goes over the high side, then Bike just straightens up, takes him out to the fence. Well, it just All speeds up, doesn't it? This second. hooks up, and you're yeah. literally a passion. You cannot react. You can do nothing about it. You can't get off Re the bike. Rear wheel spinning, and then it stops. And it hooks up. Tips him oh. right over pretty quick. Wow. Fortunately, nothing there. We do have to have a clear two-metre zone behind the fence to make sure that there's nothing riders can hit if they well, get through or over the fence. Well, fortunately, he didn't land on anything ugly, no, did he? He no. uh, landed awkwardly, but uh, nothing that was going to injure him. And to hear that he's OK is just... So it's great news. It's fabulous news. But he can't... Maybe he should have let go there, but, hey, you know, when he it's can't. happening, it, it's, when it happens that quickly. But yeah. here, he's very fortunate. That's, that could have been so much worse. So, yeah.